Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 20 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino. All right, so it's been a good week so far. Let's have a look at the training as the first thing. And uh, if we look at the training, we'll see that Delio Minarelli has uh, popped from brilliant to magnificent in winger. And he's the first of our players to do so. Let's just have a look at the trans compare here. And it shows uh, like an average of 1.8 million euros. So he said he's definitely increased his value. And it's interesting to see what we will be able to do with this in the long term. We played our weekly training match or friendly against the main team in Denmark. And this week we actually got some extra training. That is uh, very nice to report. But um, let's just have a look at the performances. And it's always nice to see Danielson and Keck actually getting to play in the winger slots um, during the friendly because that means we got that extra training and Jensen Odin playing to three stars at the back showing his uh, magnificent form at the minute very nice to see but, uh, more interestingly the youth team has played a match yesterday morning and um, we always want to see how Mr. Sanachi does and he played to 5.5 stars in this rainy match more interestingly or well, what we really wanted to know is um, what about his scoring potential and it has revealed to be passable. I mean, if I was excited about Sonati last week, I'm even more excited about the guy now because if we add up all the relevant skills for an inner midfielder, according to Papa Mischa's, uh relevant skill concept he introduced with the cycle training, you'll see that he's 7, 5, that's 12, 14 with the passing and 20 if you include scoring in the relevant skills that's pretty good but if you put into or if you take into consideration that he is uh, a homegrown player you would have to add half a skill point to all of these as well putting him in at 22 relevant skill points that's even better and he's a header of course i'm really looking forward to see what we can do with sanati once we can promote him in 113 days hopefully we'll find maybe one or two other homegrown players it could be a guy like uh, Johnny Gasparoni, even though we would have to uh, learn more about his playmaking. But actually his passing and scoring isn't all too shabby, looking at relevant skills again. Maybe Francioni is uh, an, an option here as well, because he's uh, at least uh, inadequate in playmaking. We don't know exactly about these guys, and we'll have to learn more about them once... Uh, once we get to play more games in the youth team, but I'm definitely excited to start looking at how we can uh, build the team around Sonati in the future. That'll be interesting. Right, it's Sunday and it's time to call the scouts. Let's see what Pietro has for us. Whoa, we can't, we can't train this guy. We can't train a solid keeper. No, because of Sonati, we can't. He will remain inadequate defending. We'll try this guy. Seriously. We just rejected a solid player. But okay. We'll have to see what this guy can do. Oh, wait. Very young even. It might be good actually. Right, Sunday evening. And uh, it's time to have a look. See how the league game went against uh, Chupka. And uh, as you can see, it didn't go all that well, honestly. Uh, worse than anticipated. We lost zero goals to six. Let's just have a look at the ratings and see how far we are behind if we are to compete against uh, arguably the best team in this division and we are more than 100 uh, hat stats uh, behind so i guess that explains the explains the the big defeat let's just have a look see a visual representation of the, the ratings here and it doesn't look much better visually represented how does the players perform today well Tully does uh, quite well, and um, Odom as well, so um, that's basically what we can take away from this game. We don't get any injuries, and that's uh, that's the good thing about it. Let's just have a look-see on the, on the table here, because, uh, yeah, that's uh, a world apart from the two other human teams in the in the series. We are a young team, we are aware of that, but um, we are 10 points behind at the moment, and uh, that's a fair assessment of the strength between the uh, all the teams in the division uh, if you look at it like that so uh, we'll have to get back to the drawing board and see what we can do in order to change this quite soon so uh, yeah three losses in the last five games for uh, Inter Calvajero that's uh, that's the reality at the moment so uh, we'll have to get back on track and hopefully we will be able to win the last three games of the season and that way we will be able to salvage uh, at least a, a third place this season just like last 
but uh, that's just the way it is. Um, we know that, and we are in a training preparation phase for a real cycle, and uh, we'll just have to remember that. Anyway, thank you for watching this week. I'll see you sometime next week as well.